Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to the most comprehensive preparation app for all exams, Baiju's Exam Prep. And warm welcome to very very unique series that is concept capsule series. Today's capsule is from algorithm subject that is types of statements and their time complexity. Generally in algorithms, we will see different types of statements and we will be worried how these statements time complexity can be found, right? So this capsule is going to help you out to find the time complexity of different types of statements generally what we find in algorithms. So while late, let us get into this today's capsule before that. Let me introduce myself quickly. I am Satya with 14 plus years of teaching experience. I have mentored more than 30,000 students. I am qualified in GATE, UGC NET, TS SET and also certified by Cisco into networking and programming. Okay guys, so let us get into today's capsule. First of all, we know what is time complexity. What is this? It is the amount of time required by algorithm to run to complete. So when we are taking algorithm, it might include n number of statements of different type. For all those statements to execute and complete their execution, what is the time needed? That total time is what we say time complexity. How do we represent this time complexity? It can be represented with asymptotic notations. What are different asymptotic notations we have? Omega notation, theta notation, big O notation and of course small o. Omega notation represents best case time complexity. Theta notation represents average case time complexity and big O notation represents worst case time complexity. Generally which is taken as parameter for any algorithm which case obviously worst case. So mostly used notation is big O for the time complexity or space complexity representation. Right. Now what are different types of statements that we find in any programmer algorithm? Come on. What are different types of statements? Just recall dear friends. Here we see the different types of statements an algorithm or program comprises are declaration or initialization or assignment statements means you will just say int x or you say int x is equal to 9 or you, you might say some i is equal to j plus k divided by l something like this. So these are declaration or initialization or assignment statements or computational statements. You might be doing some n is equal to n mod r plus right n into r plus k or some j is equal to 542 plus 399 or 392 divided by 19. Like this, we might write some computational statements. Definitions. You may take some function definitions as some void fun of n with some body, or you may assume some preprocessor directives or macro definitions like hash define. 
some pi is equal to 3.14 or you may include some linkage section like hash include statements also and IO statements that use scanf, printf or unformatted functions like get ch, put s, get s kind of what else we will write in an algorithm or program decision making statements like if if else switch this we say decision making statements and along with this looping statements or iterative statements that means you may write do while while for statements or using go to also you may perform some iterations so any kind of looping statements recursive statements means in some function fun of n you may write something like fun of n minus 2 so in one function you are calling the same function right so if you just reanalyze once in any algorithm or program mostly written statements drafted statements will be this right now let us understand how we calculate the time complexity for these different statements okay first of all the time complexity to execute some statements is always represented as constant that is with big O of 1 so constant time complexity means they may take 2 units of time or 3 units of time or 5 units of time or let's say 10 units of time any constant we boil down and represent with you can represent with C or generally used representation is 1 with big O of 1 means it takes constant time irrespective of the input size right constant time complexity means it is independent of in input size So what type of statements generally take constant time here I present the statements that take constant time declaration statements initialization assignment statements any computational statement here you you can't say recursive because recursion I have not mentioned here okay it's not at all recursive, recursion computation. Normal computational statements, arithmetic computations or any operations I, am, I mean to say here, okay? Just operational statements. And definitions, input-output statements, decision-making statements. So all these take constant time. So, to check the condition, how much time is needed? We say constant time. To print or scan, constant time. For function definition, constant time. Not for execution, just definition. For macro definitions, constant time. For initialization or assignment or declaration, prototype declaration, constant time. For all these types of statements, we say they take constant. Then, you see big O of n, big O of n square, big O of log n, big O of uh, 2 power n, these different uh, notations, no? Then, which statements take those times? Loops. Means iterative statements. For this, you will see those big O of n or n square or log n or n log n these kind of notations you will see generally for loops or iterative statements 
so for what loops what is the time complexity that is not generic dear friends that it depends on types of loops suppose you are taking a single loop just there is one loop so what is the time complexity that is equivalent to the number of times the loop executes the block loop block executes if it executes for n times that would be big o of n that if that executes for log n times that would be big o of log n right if we are having multiple independent loops means you are having two loops three loops four loops not nested they are independent loops then how you calculate the time that would be equal to summation of all loops time then asymptotically when you make equal that would be equal to maximum of all loops time for example let's say there is one for loop that is taking log n time there is one for loop that executes only one time there is one for loop that executes n times now actually you are supposed to sum up all so the time taken by these will be you say 1 plus log n plus n here which is bigger in terms of n n or log n or 1 automatically n so finally we will represent it as big o of n so initially you can say it is sum of all the loops time asymptotically when you represent that becomes maximum of them and if you are having nested loops one loop inside another loop then the time complexity will be equal to product of all loops time product of all loops time for example here i am having one for loop inside which another for loop let's say this takes log n time this takes this executes n times then what would be the time complexity of this we say big o of log n into n or n into log n similarly if we are having two for loops uh, three for loops if one executes let's say outer for loop executes n square times second for loop executes n times and third for loop executes log n times then what would be the total time to execute this loop we say it is big o of n into n square into log n that would be big o of n cube log n so for every loop you cannot generalize if it is a single loop simply how many times that loop statements execute if they are independent we sum up or you take the maximum of which loop takes iterates more times that a time we will consider if it is a nested loop every loop number of times is counted as a product we are taking so every loop number of times we have to take right and finally if we are having a recursive statements then directly you cannot say it is n or n log n or n square log n or simply log n like that because it requires some solution or solving so how we represent the time taken by recursive functions or statements the time complexity of recursive functions or recursive statements is expressed using recurrence relation this is used exclusively for recursive statements dear friends
and how you solve these recurrence relations they can be solved using either of the below substitution method this is what we generally call as induction method also recursive tree method and master method master method is bounded you cannot solve all types of recurrence relations only certain types of recurrence relations only solved using master method the other we prefer using substitution method or recursive tree method so what they are how they how we solve these the recurrence relations using these methods definitely we will cover in another capsule right so guys i hope this capsule has given you better idea enough idea about what are different types of statements that exist in an algorithm or program and how do we find the time complexity for it right thank you so much for watching this and having this capsule if you like it please do express your love by liking it and sharing and subscribing to our byju's exam prep gate channel thank you so much guys see you in the next capsule till then have a great time take care bye bye